Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. Welcome. Can you hear me? Good evening. Yes. Good evening. Hello. Please. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Nice. My goodness, vacations are on, right? <laughs> and everyone knows because we have a few people in the class. But um, that's the way it is, okay? So we have class today. I told you that we are going to be with classes and well so welcome nice uh let's see probably we have more um we have more participants coming soon let's see just i have messages right here creo que ahorita me están Pidiendo permiso algunos porque me están cayendo mensajes de students. I don't know. Uh, well, so anyway, thank you so much for uh, your cameras, for the ones that are already with the camera on. And let's see, we are only 12. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa con los demás que no vienen? Hello, hello, go ahead. I'm traveling to my house on my I'm sorry, you have inconvenience with your audio, Luis. Luis. I'm sorry, no, no se le escucha. Bien, so let's start. I'm waiting for the rest, pero nadie más entra. <laughs> we are only 14. Se agarraron, um, se agarraron la vacación anticipada. So we receive a message today in the WhatsApp group, right? Confirming that we do have class, right? So also um, last um, class, last Friday, I told you, right, that we will have classes today. So, creo yo que, que, que estábamos enterados todos de que clases, sí, sí, íbamos a tener. So, today also we received a message, right, confirming that, yeah, we do have class. So, remember, it's just one hour. I know that most of you are in vacations more on, right? 
So, but anyway, it's just one hour class and we are going to try to, you know, practice a little bit uh, details that we have in the menu, but you know, we need to, we need to um, <clears throat> make sure, right, that we, that we have uh, the knowledge and everything, that's why we are like validating the information. Let's see. Uh -huh. Okay, Luis Miguel, I'm checking right here in the message in the chat. So you have issues with your camera, okay? And it says that you are traveling home, okay? And Daniela also. Okay, no problem. So we are going to uh, review the attendance in a few, a few, a few, a few more, more uh, minutes. And I'm waiting right for the rest because we are only like 13 people in the class out of the 26 that we are. So probably people it's joining the meeting. Okay, hopefully, hopefully because we all know that we have class today. Uh, let's see. Uh, Freddy Alberto, how are you? Are you already on vacations, Freddy Alberto, or yeah. you have to continue working this week? Uh, good evening, teacher. Uh, I'm fine. Um, I am on vacation. Ah, uh, really? So you are on vacation. Oh, yes, nice. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. What about you, Emmanuel Efraim? Are you on vacations more on or more off? <laughs> Uh, good evening, teacher. Uh, good evening. I, 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 am, I am on vacation too. Okay, nice. So, my goodness, you are rich people. Yes. Okay, uh, that's nice. Okay, nice. Yeah. Very good. Vamos a ver, ladies. Jocelyn, Tatiana, what about you? What about you? Are Hello. you on vacations already or not? Yes, I have a vacation. You are already on vacations. <gasps> My goodness. <laughs> we are all on vacations, okay? So that's nice. I don't know what do you do on vacation if you go to the beach or if you go out of the uh, your city, downtown, or I don't know if you like to go to the fever and you know the the religious themes that we have in this week. Hmm, sorry. <laughs> so I don't know, but whatever you do, it's something nice because we do something a little different, right? The, the activities that we do every single day. So that is nice because we have like a different routine, right? Something different. Sometimes on vacations, we have time to do probably cleaning, okay? Or something that we normally did in normal regular dates, we are not able to do it because of the time, right? So, yeah. puede dedicarse a, a, como decir, a, este, a ordenar los calcetines, eh, de todos los colores, ¿verdad? En la semana se agarra el que haya primero y los mismos, o uno de un color, otro de otro, right? Because we don't have time, but now that you will be on vacations, right? So, usted puede... Um, no sé, dedicarse así como que a buscar los pares correctos, detalles como esos, right? That we have time and if we are at home. Uh, so that is something that we can do on vacations. Let's see, Ana Cristina, what about you? Are you already on vacation? Um, I'm on vacation. Um, no working. You are you are not on vacations? Uh, not. Um, I am in my home. Um, no working now. Okay, so you are not working right now. Okay, and what about you, Janessi Alexandra? 
good evening. Um, yeah, I'm on vacation too. Um, I don't like to go out. I prefer to stay at home. Okay, so you prefer to be at home? Yes. Okay. Nice. Okay. Uh, nice. So let's start with the attendance. Ya di tiempo suficiente prudencial <laughs> para que vengan los que tengan que venir, pero mi modo. Ya solo dos personitas más entraron. Voy a pasar el attendance. Y mi modo. Vamos a ver qué pasó con los demás porque the time is the time is here so please like always uh, let me know solo déjenme ver que esto me haya cargado yep okay we are going to return on the seven right so today is the uh, 31st okay so ana christine present teacher thank you miss um, Briseida Janet. Yes, Thank you. Um, let's see. Then we have Carlos Adolfo. Carlos Adolfo. No está, no está cuestión. Ok, Claudia Yesenia. Claudia Yesenia, ¿no? Daniela Mercedes. Hi, teacher, I'm here. Nice. Eh, Emanuel Efraín. Eh, good evening, teacher, present. Thank you, sir. Uh, Evelyn Janet. Present. Nice. Uh, let's see, Flor de Marie. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Carlos Adolfo. Nice to see that you are here. Okay, you have your attendance. Don't worry. Uh, let's see, Flor de Maria. No. Uh, Freddy Alberto. Present teacher. Nice. Um, Glenda Lisset. Present teacher. Nice. Glenda Iliana Maria. Mariel, no. Um, Genesis Alexandra. Present. Nice. Jefferson Alexander. No. Jorge Mauricio. Present teacher, good evening. Thank you, sir. Good evening. Um, Jose Alberto. Okay, let's see. Jocelyn Tatiana. I'm here, teacher. Nice. Juan Jose. Present. Nice. Um, Kevin Ariel. Mm. Eh, Luis Miguel. Nice. Uh, Rachel Esther. Present teacher. Nice. Rebecca Paola. Rebeca Paola, no. Eh, Ronald Rafael. Present teacher. Nice. Eh, Roxana Marisol. Roxana. No, no, no. Eh, let's see. Sandra Noemi. Nice, Sandra. Um, Sara Veronica. Uh, 
No, Sandra Veronica, Sara Veronica, no. Okay, so just give me one moment, please. Let's see. Okay, so let me share the screen really quick. Um, uh, we are going to continue where we stop, okay? Yeah. Did you remember that we are working in the manual? And we start checking right here, the work and the workplaces, right? So I guess we uh, complete this exercise and we have a conversation right here. So the conversation, it's called, where do you work, okay? So remember that we are learning or we are uh, reviewing in this case, we have some uh, WH questions right here with the simple present, right? So the verb to be was at the very beginning, right? But this is simple present. I'm going to read the conversation just one time, okay? And it says, um, where do you work, right? That's the name of the conversation. It says, uh, where um, where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take uh, people on tourists on tours. I'm sorry to countries in South America like Peru. How interesting! Yes, it's a great job. I love it. Um, what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Uh, hamburger Heaven. Okay, that's a nice name, right? For a restaurant. Okay. Nice. So do we have any new word right here or something that it's not clear in the conversation? No, no new words. I'm sorry. Uh, all is clear. Which one? Mm. Uh, all is fine. Mm, let's see, a yeah. tourist guide right here. Or which one? I'm sorry, Freddy, one more time. Um, no, no problem, teacher. <laughs> okay, uh -huh. no problem. Okay, yes. thank you. So let's see, this is the place word, right? Uh, let's see. Uh, Janessi, please be Andrea. And Freddy Alberto, please be uh, Jason. Go ahead, please. Uh, where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to, con to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yeah, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Okay, nice. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, so let's see. Um interesting right interesting how interesting job okay this is a great job okay yeah yeah 
part-time, okay? So part-time job, part-time job. Uh, fast food, fast food restaurant, okay? Restaurant. Uh, and then the name, right? The name is uh, proper name, um, hamburger. Hamburger heaven, okay? So let's see, we are going to continue because of the time, okay? So we are going to take advantage of the time. So now what we have right here, it's what we are learning, okay? The simple present plus the WH questions, right? So we are clear, we already mentioned last week, uh, some examples about WH questions, and now we are going to add the do. Remember that do or does, those are the auxiliaries for the uh, simple present, right? Do you like coffee? That is for the, the subjects that are not the third person, right? So we use do. And you know the does, she work at Pizza Hut, right? So that would be the auxiliary for a third person, right? On he, on she, on it, okay? So let's see these examples what do you do oh i'm a student and i have a part-time job where do you work i work in a restaurant or i work at a restaurant where do you go to school i go to the university of texas where does andrea work oh she works at thomas cook travel what does she do oh she's a guy she takes people on tours how does she like it she love it okay so these ones are the examples that we have right so this is what we have right here we know the rules for the simple present right eso usted lo tuvo que haber visto en módulos anteriores okay yo digo i work pero digo he or she works okay that's the rule for the for the a uh, simple present, right? In the third person, okay? I say, I take it, I take pictures, but I will say he or she takes pictures, okay? So, and this is a rule about the birds, okay? You need to know how to convert the birds into the uh, simple present third person, okay? No es que a todos los verbos le voy a agregar es. Okay, so that is not the case. Okay, we have some rules on some sections in which we need to know how we are going to convert the bird into a third person. Okay, so let's do the next exercise. It says uh, complete the conversations, then practice with a partner. Okay, so we are going to try to do it uh, probably in, in groups right here. And uh, we will see together the answers, okay? Just uh, let me take a, a screenshot right here. And uh, we are going to create the uh, small groups, okay? So what we are going to do, you need to complete, right? You need to complete this exercise, okay? So let me um, open the rooms right here. We are going to create probably two or three, okay? Uh, if I bien pocos, la verdad que no han venido. Y no salen muchos grupos, okay? So we are going to create, I guess, three groups only, okay? So what we are going to do, we are going to complete this exercise and then we are going to check the answers, okay? They, they are like two mini conversations. I already sent that into the WhatsApp group. So are we clear with the uh, instructions? Yes? Está claro lo que vamos a hacer, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. So let me open the rooms, okay? We have four or five minutes the must.
Music. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, nice. Well, I don't know if you finish, but we will sit together, okay? Ahí estaba dentro de un grupo que no había terminado, pero let's see because of the time, okay? So we will see the, uh, the answers together. Let's see, number one. Um, number one, uh, let's see, Jorge Mauricio, please, uh, you are letter eight, um, Rachel Esther, please uh, be letter B, okay, go ahead. Mauricio. What do you do? I am a full-time student. I study the violin. And what do you do you do to the school? I go to the New York School of Music. Wow. What do you like your classes? I like them a lot. Okay, nice. Let's see. What do you do? I'm a full-time student. I'm studying the violin. Uh, and, and, ¿cómo quedaría esta? And what do you do? Nuestro grupo pensaba que es en where do you go to school, pero no sé si está correcto. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where do you go? That would be because the, the answer is the, the name, right? I go to the New York School of Music. Okay, where? Where do you go to school? Oh, I go to the New York School of Music. Wow. And this one? Which one is the WH question? Because look at the answer. I like them a lot. I like them a lot. So that's the answer. So the question will be. <coughs> how, right? How do you like your classes? How? Que tanto te gustan las clases? Okay. Oh, me gustan un montón, me gustan bastante, okay? So how do you like your classes? I love them a lot, or I like it a lot, okay? Nice, let's see, number two. Uh, Carlos Adolfo, B, letter eight, and Sandra Noemi, letter B, please. Uh, okay, uh, what does Tanya do? She she's she's a teacher. She teaches an art class at high school in Devon. And what about Ryan? Where where does he work? He works for a big computer company in San Francisco. What does he do exactly? He's, he's a website, the singer he creates, fantastic websites. Websites, okay, so what does Tanya do? Oh, she's a teacher, she uh, works, can be, right? An art class, okay? Or she does, can be, right? She does an art class. Uh, a school in Denver. And what about Ryan? Where does he work? He works for a big computer company in San Francisco. And this one, what does he do exactly? Oh, he's a website designer. He does, he does. fantastic, okay? He, he does, does fantastic websites, okay? So remember, this is simple present, right? The auxiliaries that we need to do or use are the ones that, um, that is um, the auxiliaries, right? The auxiliaries, okay? So uh, we are going to do something different, okay? We have these examples, okay? Please uh, try to write uh, three different questions with the answers, okay? like this one for example you say hey uh, what do you do i'm a teacher uh, i work at 
a lot of la school or I work at this university, right? So you need to do, uh, try to do the two with the auxiliary to and two with the auxiliary does. That means third person, okay? In that way, you will be able to answer with the verb in the base form in the answer and also with the verb for a third person, okay? So we are going to create exactly the same groups, okay? Usted va a crear two and two. Two questions with the two answers using auxiliary do can be any WH question. What, where, who, which, how, how much, how many, okay? Any WH question, but two questions with the answers using the auxiliary do and two questions with the answers with the auxiliary does, okay? So, ¿está más o menos claro lo que va a hacer? Ahí anótenlas y si es posible, mándenlas al grupo de WhatsApp, okay? So, we are going to keep exactly the same teams, okay? The same groups, okay? So, I will give you four or five minutes the most, okay? Send it in the group. Solo uno, mándelas, ¿verdad? Son tres grupos, solo uno la va a enviar. So, are we clear with the instruction? ¿Está claro lo que vamos a hacer? Yep, okay. So let's open the rooms.
Okay, uh, welcome back. So I received just one picture, but just the questions. Remember that we need questions and answers, right? So let's see, we will see randomly because um, I don't know if you finish, okay? Let's see. Um, uh, Jocelyn Tatiana, Jocelyn Tatiana, tell us one of your questions using do with the answer, okay? Jocelyn Tatiana. Hello. Yeah, go ahead, Jocelyn. So one question with do, WH question using the auxiliary do, and also the answer, right? Remember, it is that's the idea. Practice how you are going to use the third person birds in the simple present. Bien. I don't know, Jocelyn, if you have it. Yeah, I am not a What do you do for uh, do you do for the I'm sorry, one more time, Jocelyn, casi no le logro comprender. Go ahead with your question. What do you do for your health? Hmm, what do you do for your health? Okay, and the answer? Why? The answer, the answer of the question? And the third digit, I am sort of one answer. Okay, so you don't have the answer. No, personal, because then the other group for uh, hicieron dos, pero no sé si lo describieron otros compañeros. Okay. okay, okay, no problem. Let's see, uh, Sandra Noemi. Your question using do? Okay. And, and, and the answer. Okay. Why do you decide to study English? One more time, the question, I'm sorry. Why do you decide to study English? Uh, in my case, I decide to study English because in the future, I want to have a better job and be able to help my family financially. Okay, okay, Sandra Noemi, so very good, very nice. Let's see, Carlos Adolfo, tell us one of your questions and also the answer. I'm sorry, but it's raining right here. Okay, teacher, thank you. Um, where do you live? I live in San Salvador, um, Avenida Bernal, and um, Calle San Antonio, Street San Antonio Bad, Avenue Bernal, and Street San Antonio Bad. Okay, so the WH question is where do you live, right? I live. Alguien creo que me envió ahí unas, um, Acá el grupo de WhatsApp, pero la, la respuesta que me han enviado aquí es con el verbo to be, ¿ok? So the question, what do you do? It's ok. But remember, if we are asking the question with the do, so the answer must be, I am a teacher. So that is verb to be, ¿ok? So can be, I work as a teacher, right? So that would be the verb, ¿ok? So where do you live? I live in San Salvador. Uh, why are you crying? Because I'm sad. Okay, so esa es una WH question, pero con el verbo to be. No estamos con el presente simple, en la número tres. Uh, which color, ahí creo que le falta el auxiliar. Which color do you like most? Which color do you like the most? Blue or white? I like blue. Better. Okay, so remember, uh, the questions are uh, with the, with the, um, 
simple present, right? So esa es la idea, manejar el presente simple. Cuando usted me pone el verbo to be, ya nos movemos al tema anterior. Pero in this case, we have the verb. Usted necesita que la respuesta lleve un verbo, ¿ok? No el verbo to be, sino un verbo normal, un verbo regular, ¿ok? So, let's see. Um, Emmanuel Efraín, tell us one of your questions using does. <coughs> con el auxiliary does. Ok. Uh... The question will be, uh, what do you do here for living? Answer. No, but, but the question with does, does, not do. Oh, okay. What does, what does do you do for living? Okay. So, Emmanuel, so the question needs to be WH question y auxiliar. Okay. Usted me está poniendo un auxiliar a la par de otro auxiliar. Ok, si yo ya uh, tengo el dos, no necesito el do. El do y el das es lo mismo, ok. Uh, uh, el, only, el, what does it for living? What does she do for living? Ok, yo entiendo okay. que me quiere preguntar qué hace ella para vivir. vivir. What does uh -huh. she do for living? Ok, and the answer, Emmanuel. She does a doctor. I'm sorry? She is a doctor. Okay, but if you answer with she is a doctor, so that would be verb to be. Ahí se está yendo al tema anterior del verbo to be. En este mm. caso, si la pregunta es del presente simple, la respuesta también debe de ser del presente simple. ¿Cómo quedaría la respuesta? Uh... She, she, she do a, a doctor? No. No. She, el auxiliar, ¿cuál sería del presente simple? Does. She does. She does. Ok, but in this case, um, it will sound weird, right? Sonaría un poco raro. ¿Usted cómo me va a contestar? Aquí está. ¿ve? Where does she work? Oh, she works. At la 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 la, donde sea, right? So this is the way that we are going to answer because this is simple present, okay? No es el verbo to be, es el presente simple, okay? Y en okay. el presente simple lo que yo voy a hacer es cambiar los verbos, okay? So cambiar los verbos para las terceras personas. Okay, nice. Emmanuel, so I don't know who raised your, the hand, vi como una mano levantada. No. No. Okay. So we are going to ayudar al compañero. Ah, okay. Uh, it was you, right, Luis? Se me acuerdo, pero no me acordaba que era usted. No problem. <laughs> Thank you, Luis Miguel. Appreciate it. You okay. forgot me. No problem. Miren que casi <laughs> casi no oigo porque está ahorita una tormentilla así mero mero fuerte por acá, pero hopefully we finish, okay? So, um, I need to validate the attendance porque sí, ya vinieron un poquito más y hay varios que no tienen asistencia. Confírmenme, por favor, si están antes de que nos retiremos o antes que otra cosa suceda. Uh, por ejemplo, Claudia Yesenia, no sé si está. Claudia Yesenia, Flor de María Sánchez. Flor de María, ¿no? Eh, Iliana Mariel. Jefferson Alexander. José Alberto. Eh, Kevin Ariel. Eh, Rebeca Paola. Rebeca Paola. No. Eh, Roxana Marisol. Y Sara, Verónica. No, Dios mío, un montón de gente que ha faltado. Pero bueno, eso no creo que me vayan a decir que porque no sabían, porque mandaron ahí un mensajito. 
¿verdad? O sea, todos estábamos conscientes que clase ahora sí íbamos a tener. So, but from, from now, so we are going to have a few dates on vacations, right? So, tomorrow we don't have classes, right? This week it's over for classes, but remember that you do have your, your job, right? So, usted sí tiene que avanzar. ¿Qué sección va a trabajar? La 3 y la, el examen de de mitad de módulo, right? So, usted tiene que llevar eso, trate de avanzar lo más que pueda terminarlo para que sí descanse un poco, right? So, mañana no hay clase. Prácticamente nosotros estamos encontrándonos el próximo lunes. Lunes, ¿qué fecha tenemos? 7, ¿verdad? Lunes 7 de agosto. Prácticamente estamos retornando después de la vacación, ¿verdad? Si usted ya considera que ya está por terminar la, las secciones o ya lo tiene terminado, pues puede parrandear definitivamente, puede descansar, puede repasar. La verdad que no se olvide de, de releer, de repasar, de estudiar, porque a veces se nos olvida y el siguiente día que venimos después venimos en blanco. Ok, so try to double check the information that you have. And uh, we are going to get together next coming Monday, ¿ok? El próximo lunes estamos retornando. Esa semana sería prácticamente la parte de la segunda y la tercera. Porque ya la última, pues, solamente nos queda una, una semana más que va a ser la última. Entonces, section number three, midterm exam, es lo que usted va a estar trabajando, ¿ok? So, the time is over. Thank you so much for your time. Please enjoy Your, your vacations, okay, do something different, do something for fun, do something with your friends, do something with your family, okay, take care, and um, do the best, okay, the best, estudia, repase lo más que pueda, para que cuando regresemos de la vacación no venga así como que le han borrado el disco, ¿verdad? Sino que venga fresco de la mente y descansado de su cuerpo, okay? So, okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. Bye bye. Good night. Uh, see you tomorrow. See you next Monday. Okay. Next bye. Monday. My Have goodness. Nice Good night. Good night. Enjoy Good your night. weekend. Si toma, Happy vacation. No, no maneje. Si maneja, no tome. Ah. Bye bye. <laughs> nice. Bye bye. Bye. bye.